Okay, bit crushing synthesizers, let's talk about it. Here's the sound we want. You can really hear it in the reverb tail there. So that that kind of overdriven, saturated, artifacty kind of uh, sizzle that's happening in the top end, that's bit crushing. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. This synth part is actually two synth lines. I just used the same synthesizer on the left and the right. Uh, the left one's playing this figure. And the right's playing this one. So together, they have a cool little counterpoint going on. So, let's just listen to the raw sound and we'll see how we got to the bit crusher sound. Here's the raw synthesizers playing together. So, much more mellow, right? So, what I'm doing for processing is all in this effect rack here. I just packaged it up. Um, so the first thing that I do is a little bit of EQ just to add some high mid brilliance that I felt was lacking. It was a really mellow sound in the synth. Um, so let's just kick these on one by one and see what they do. So just with a bit of EQ, we have this. Just pushing those low mids and then compensating. So that's a good start, but we want some motion to this sound. We want something to change over time, right? And so a great way to get that is flanger. So with the EQ and a little bit of flanger dialed in just right, this is what we get. Already we're getting like that top end kind of sizzle. Uh, so then after that I felt it needed just a little more filtering, so another EQ. This EQ is more of the effect that I want in the intro. It's kind of like a band pass, band limited kind of sound for the intro specifically that um, sits a little better in the mix and the atmosphere I want. Uh, so then after that, we get to the real magic. We do bit reduction. Um, actually, we're not bit reducing. We're just down sampling on this one. Uh, the bit reduction effect is a bit extreme. So I just wanted to actually down sample uh, to get more of that kind of like digital distortion that's sort of like uh, my stream is breaking up sound. So this is what we get when we downsample. Off. On. Uh, so the downsampling is basically taking what the flanger is introducing and just accentuating it a lot and really giving that top end like sizzly digital kind of breakup sound. It's a really cool effect. And then after that, um, downsampling tends to introduce a lot of high-end artifacts and, and harmonics, so I just added a little bit of uh, high EQ shelf after this just to tame that a little bit. And this compressor was actually off. For the uh the current sound of this so this is what we end up with at the end Much more mid-focused, much more kind of like broken up and digitized sounding. 
it's a really cool effect um that was a lot of fun to reverse engineer from this sleep token song anyway enjoy i hope that was helpful maybe go try it out for yourself let me know how it works out